so I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, this is great. This was brought over from Brantford. Brantford started doing this. Uh, Carolyn started doing this in Brantford um, a few weeks ago. Now we're doing West Haven. Hopefully we've got now another 167 cities in the state of Connecticut to do this on. Another 167 oh, cities to do this on. Let's make this a statewide effort. We can do this because uh, it is time to back the blue. Um, our first line of defense are the police. Once you call 911, they're there wherever you are, dealing with whatever your situation is, whether it be an accident, whether it be assault and battery, anything you need, missing child, our first line of defense are the police. They're our soldiers and they should be appreciated. For, for a long time, we've seen them uh, um, basically be spat on. And so the time for that needs to end right now. And May I make th a this comment? starts right here. Carolyn, go ahead. I want to make a comment that somebody's forgetting. Our police are also, from a business point of view, they bring revenue into our towns, right? So they have to pull over someone and they bring revenue into the town. Would you, if you know you were going to get shot, or would you just not do it? I'm not saying they wouldn't do it, but think about it. Beside our tax department, our police department is a good revenue generator. And I'm thinking from a business point of view, we just hamstrung them from the thought of doing their job because, you know, they have to do it. That's part of their job. Versus, you know what, do I really need to, to get shot? Do I really need to get spit at? Do I really need to get antagonized for doing my job? So we have to think of it both ways. We're in an economical conundrum right now, but we do need the police to do their job as far as also protecting, but also helping bring revenue into the town as well. All our towns. And we're so we're financially strapped, so yes, we yeah. We have uh, with us uh, State yeah. Representative Charlie Ferrara. Uh, Charlie, say a few words. Um, Again, thanks, thank you everyone for coming. Um, this event is uh, really, really important at this time because there are a lot of police officers right now second-guessing their career. And um, in my meetings with police officers, many of them said that they're thinking about putting in their retirement papers. And we can't afford to lose 20-year and 25-year veterans that we have working on the police departments now because they're teaching and training our young rookies who are coming in. And that institutional knowledge, when it goes, you can't replace it. And so um, my entreatment to our current police is that we're here to support you. We're here to let you know that we have you back. We're here to let you know that we don't want you to leave the profession. Hang in there with us, give us a chance to see what we can do about making things better and trying to correct some of the things in the bill that um, may be upsetting you right now. Um, but we really need you and, um, and we're gonna stay with you and support you and uh, do what we can to uh, keep you know, keep you proud of us. Carlos, I'd say a few words. Uh, Carlos is, uh, is uh, actually one of her uh, first senator inside the stopover, so I want to acknowledge him. Just very brief, as, as a man that I served in the military, man in uniform, I fully respect that any, anyone that wears a uniform. I support 100% of men, the men and women in blue, in blue, and let's make sure we continue to support them. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Great job, everyone. Folks.